women that are sitting, leaning against a teepee, and one says, I want to marry the bright star, and the other sister says, well, I want to marry the dim star, and they go to sleep. When they awaken, they're in the star world, and the two uh, men they marry are the North Star and his little brother. But from her, a fallen star is born. that the Lakota ancestors were the original scientists. Ecologists, pharmacists, they, they had their own hypothesis and it was trial and error over thousands of years. And the things that they witnessed were put in story form, oral form, and then passed down. And that's why they're important. I grew up here on the reservation. I went to Little Wound School, kindergarten to 12th grade. Um, so I kind of I relate to the kids around here and I think they see that. And, Growing up, we didn't really have too much science. Um, we had science classes, but not too much into it because our teachers weren't science teachers. Reservation schools are understaffed and underfunded. It's hard to find science teachers. With a limited number of people with limited resources, if they want to provide any cultural content to their students, they have to find something to jettison. And often it's science that gets jettisoned. What we do is we go out into the K-12 through schools and we bring STEM education, STEM activities. We believe with that STEM outreach and just keeping uh, students engaged and um, introduced to different STEM concepts and, and keep doing that, that that's going to stimulate interest, career opportunities and you know possibilities in higher education down the road. So it's really important to us that we do this work. The other element of that is that Combining the cultural with the STEM, the science, the Western. And this is what we do with the Lakota Star Knowledge. Um, we have a brand new full dome planetarium and we take this into the schools. We now have the capacity to show full dome movies in this planetarium. We can do full sets of astronomy lessons in there and of course the Lakota Star Knowledge. Um, so that's, that's big for us. Being able to see project it and show which stars which and you know, the constellations it helps out a lot so then it has kids then go outside and try to look at the star at nighttime try to piece it together the stem outreach gives them something to aspire to something to excite them uh oh you mean with a little bit of scientific training and a couple of contraptions you know i can solve this problem that's so cool so I like to get the kids inquisitive, teach them to ask questions, not to be scared. Question everything, because uh, they're, they're already inquisitive, they're already curious, so I want to keep that going. You know, we need scientists and engineers that, that have a, a deep understanding and appreciation for conserving and preserving what's here. It's, it's our story, and, and we should preserve it.